Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discuss about Python data types. What exactly the data types is in the Python means every value in a Python has a data type. Since everything is an object in a Python programming, a data types are actually classes and variables are instance objects of a classes. Here is the first one we can able to declare for number. A number is nothing but integer of floating point of number or complex numbers fall under a python number category means all three things it will come under number category only they are defined as in float or complex classes in a python we can use this type function to know that which class it is a variable or a value belongs to it means this type is defined to knowing that what kind of value it is having that particular variable means it is like integer float or complex number we can able to identify easily okay this is a kind of example okay i'm going to use the same code I just a copy pasting this one and we can able to see whether we can we are getting for what is happen a equal to 5 and the type we are going to define knowing that 2.0 what kind of this and is instant is there i am not used for type but is instant used both are same and both are operations are same and we are finding to the value what kind of data type it is having now see there is a true it is provided and the number is float and number is int it is provided here is is a complex number and we can able to true is it complex or not we defined and it is providing for that also and you able to you can able to use for type also it will provide some value okay and python list it is presented in this list is basically a list is used for ordered sequence of items it is a one of the most used data type in python and is a very flexible all the types in a list do not need to be the same data type means we can able to send the value like in this float or string format any kind of value we can able to send into this list uh, okay it is basically the operator it is this process it will provided and we can able to declare for our list variable and there is no size limit we can able to n number things we can able to specify and how we can able to read means we can able to declare for the size which position it is there the position you can able to send and you can able to take it the value and the ratio type also you can able to specify 0 to 3 means 0 to 3 values you can need to print like that and if you specify 5 colon means after 5 values what are the values are presented you can print it like that you can able to see this example value i am copy pasting this one and you can able to see the output also first one it will uh, 15th it will provide because of the uh, second position 0 1 2 third position is presented that is 15 the 15 it is displayed 0 to 3 first three letters we need to display and 3 and fifth one after 5 0 1 2 3 4 and it is like a 5 indication then the 5 is removed then remaining values it is printed like that it will print it in case you define that end of the one there is nothing is there then it will print for last one only okay nothing is there like that it will print and close and python tuple is presented tuple is basically an order sequence of items same as a list the only difference between this tuples are immutable tuples once created cannot be modified means once you created the tuple then it will not modify but list we can able to modify but tuples it will not allow to modify tuples are used to write a protecting data and are usually faster than the list as they cannot be changed dynamically it is a defined within a parenthesis where it, 
items are separated by the column column it will separated and it will save it we can use the silence operator ex extracting the items but we cannot change the item value we can able to use this silence operator and we can able to find the value this also position to start for zeroth position only and we can able to get it in case if there is nothing is there if you end up the time like if you having the tuple having three letters but you define the fourth there is nothing is there means it will generate some error and we have some strings string is like sequence of any code characters and we can able to do it for single double and triple also the comments we can able to define this all are we discussed already the string related information in the previous video you can go through that also and we have python set a set is an ordered collection of unique items it sets a defining by the value separated by the comma inside the braces and items in a set are not ordered in case if it is not order we can able to find for order of that and we can able to perform the set operation like a unique unit interaction of two sets sets having a unique values they eliminate the duplication means if you are defining for 3322 and it will remove for the duplicate values you can able to see here and you can save it here and just you can running it will remove 1 2 3 only it will print and duplicate values it will remove and sets are unordered collection index has no meaning hence the silence operator does not work means if you are going to finding using silence operator like position like a zeroth position or tenth position or second position third position or zero is to three like that if you are specifying it will not work out basically the operation it will not because it uh, every time it will change the value and python is having four dictionary Dictionary is an unordered collection of key value pair. How Java and C sharp having the dictionary, right? The key value pair, the same format Python also is presented, and key value pair it is presented. It is generally used when we have the huggy amount of data. Dictionaries are optimized for the retrieving the data. We must know the key of retrieving the values. Means whenever you want to retrieving some data that moment this dictionary it will help because it is a key value pair we can be able to easily uh, identify the those things the parentheses we can be able to use to each item to pair for the key value pair and we can be able to find the type also what kind of type it is present at the value and we we use that key is retrieving the representative value but not the other any way of around it the particular one only we can able to find it and uh, conversion between the data types means we can able to convert the different data types like int to string string to int and int to float or float to int we can able to convert a data types how this topic we will learn for next video session how we can able to exactly we can able to convert those values some simple example i will see in that next video session that's all about this video i hope you enjoyed please like video please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you